Bomberman's ready. We're going live in three, two, one. Bomberman Live is a strategy-based multiplayer combat game that was released to the Xbox Live Arcade in 2007. This title contains local support for up to four players and online multiplayer support for up to eight. It's strictly what you know and love about original Bomberman titles, so if you're a new or longtime fan, this is a must-have for your 360. If you haven't played Bomberman before, the idea of this battle mode is to drop bombs and blow up your opponents, but not yourself. Last Bomberman or Woman Standing is the winner. One of the great things about Bomberman is that you can have a very calculated strategy that works, but you can also haphazardly drop bombs and potentially come out on top. Bomberman Live is fun. It's as fun as Bomberman has ever been, which for me is really up there. I like it better than the execution of battle mode in Bomber Generation, and this version has a massive amount of options. Anything you've ever wanted to change about your Bomberman experience is customizable. Options start off with the amount of players and the ability to set difficulty of the AI, which I appreciate to no end when playing solo. You can just button mash A and get right into the thick of things, but if you're a weathered Bomberman having kicked many a bomb in your past, you may have specific ideas about game length, burnability of power-ups, the inclusion of power downs, revenge mode, and more. You can even specifically turn off certain power-ups. When it comes to choosing a level, you have a solid set at your disposal with their own specific adaptations like teleports or breaking ice. There are a ton of gameplay modes to choose from to mix up your matches, such as paint, zombie, arena mode, and obviously classic. One thing I loved about the Bomberman 93 port to Wii's Virtual Console was the ability to play five players using the GameCube controller ports on top of the Wii. Yes, the 360 version has matched and exceeded that with online support and three more potential players, but it's still another person sitting out a match during home games. That isn't even really a problem, it's just a personal preference based on my past Bomberman experience. My only real gripe is when the board starts closing in on itself due to an optional hurry up mode which I stick by to speed up matches. The use of 3D blocks dropping out of the sky eclipses the view of the board, and although I didn't die as a result of the blocks mucking up my view, I can see it happening in more competitive gameplay. I haven't purchased any of the DLC, but there are three bomb up packs that have been released, two of which are 250 Microsoft points, and the other is 200. That comes out to $3.13 and $2.50 respectively. Moving past Microsoft's ridiculous conversion rate of points to dollars, these packs give you more levels, new game modes, new characters, and accessories. I'd say the levels and game modes are the biggest draw for dropping the points on the DLC, but the base game gives you more than enough in the form of variety. So this recommendation rests on the laurels of you actually having enjoyed Bomberman in the past. It's great Bomberman fun channeling exactly what makes the series great, the controls are responsive, the heads-up display is clean, it's just a well-made game. I think it's worth the $10 price tag, if only for a chance to play an updated battle mode with friends and humiliate myself by bomb dropping my character into a corner.